This was not supposed to happen. Our DIY solar array is supposed to have three panels, not two. Our goal this year is to get our brand new dome greenhouse completely off grid, powered entirely by solar, to get away from this mess of cords outside the front door. A 100 foot extension cord running from the house is not a viable plan going forward. Over the past few weeks, Brian has spent a lot of time fabricating the stand with solar panels and welding eighth inch steel so that it can be rugged enough for the speeds and snow loads that we get up here in the Rocky Mountains. And after a couple of weeks of welding and priming and painting, the stand is finally ready to get assembled. Well, folks, this is our year-round greenhouse that we just built, and we're making it off-grid. That's right. So right here is our pad for the solar array. And today is assembly day. Today is assembly day, yep. Uh, you got three solar panels for three. the greenhouse. Right. So, and we've got a battery and inverter system we're going to put into place as well. We'll tell you all about that. But today's just the actual assembly and Witnessing what Brian built with his own two hands. My own two hands. That's right. Challenge number one is unloading this thing. Yes, it's not light. <laughs> so it looks like it's in two different parts here. Right, actually, yeah, so the main stand part is two, and then we've got uh, some galvanized uh, fence railing, and then some, uh, uh, what do you call it, the unistrut. Okay. So the Unistrut actually will mount to the galvanized pipe and then solar panels mount to the Unistrut. Is this a two-person job? Uh, this one will be, yeah. Okay. Let's just put it on the ground for now. There. There you go. Okay. You go that, go that way. I should change the camera angle so we can see it putting it onto the... We just want to put it on the ground first. Oh, uh, can... Yeah. Uh, put it right there. Oh, I got it. There. That's the way right there. All right, and then this piece, how does that, oh, that's the, goes on the top. It goes on the top, yeah, so we don't have anything you can stand on, do we? Mm. What about the four-wheeler? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Things you got to do for short people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll just toss it over to you. <laughs> uh. <sighs> just give me one end over here. Careful. 
Okay. Down. Oh yeah, look it swivels. Yeah, for now. <laughs> for now. So and the wind's gonna take that and twist it, isn't it? No. I'm gonna drill holes in it. Oh. And put bolts in there. Okay. So it'll it won't go anywhere. Oh. So cool. All right, now what? Uh, now we can mount the all the side rail stuff. Okay. For this big project, we're partnering with SunGold Power. They're the makers of solar inverters, batteries, and accessories, and I think will be the perfect solution to power our grow dome. We're going to build the wall mount right here. It'll come up off of the stem wall, and then we'll have our components mounted here with the batteries just underneath. You know, circuit breaker box. We've got a uh, combination charge controller and inverter. This is a three. This will be a three thousand watt uh, system. So three thousand watt inverter. Okay. We've got uh, two twenty-four volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, hundred okay. amp hours each. So and that's another one in that box underneath. There's another one in the box. Okay, right? so double. Okay. All right. So those will be parallel, I believe. Wire for the batteries. Now we've got a seventy-five foot run, so I ended up getting eight gauge uh, wire for that. So that was pretty expensive, but. Um, and then the connectors so All right. for the wire. And these are your male-female solar connectors. Okay. So Great. this is the big breaker. This is the 200 amp breaker it goes to the to the batteries. The um, the other the PV breaker I didn't it didn't come in the mail yet. So okay. Um, so that's so you can disconnect the power coming in from the the solar array into here. So that that comes in right through here. All right. And that your line out to the batteries is here, and then if you want to hook up a generator, you can you can put those lines in here. Got some uh, internet stuff there. Uh, this will be mounted there, the breaker and the other breaker, and then the batteries will be underneath, probably on a stand of some kind. Thanks to Sun Gold Power for helping us out on this project, you guys. They've got kits already assembled, ready to go. So definitely check out. We'll put a link in the video description if you want to check out what they have to offer. They have some really good pricing as well. Yeah, you can get the solar panels included. We did not do that because we decided to get them off marketplace. Um, but you get the whole, even the the breakers and all that can be included as well. So Yeah, so they make it really easy to be able to do a setup like this. So. And big systems. You get a whole house system from that. Yeah. Okay. So... And now that we got the stand put up, you're putting on the... The bracing for the unistrut. Whole and structure supports the framework that holds the unistrut. Plus the unistrut sits on top of this. Any reason why you chose a pipe? Because this was not expensive. Okay. <laughs> this supports the perpendicular pieces on the bottom and the top. And then the, the, uni the unistrut goes on top of those. So there's uh, um, fence pieces that clamp on here to hold the piece that goes this way. So, but I modified it by drilling a hole through here so we're, we're not clamping through air. We're going right through the pipe so it'll be a little stronger. Oh, it spins. Isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> Almost like I planned it that way. <laughs> All right, so the next part of this project is the unistrut. That's the green sort of channeled piece right here. Yeah, it should add to the rigidity of the whole setup. Got little teeth to grab on, but I'm just flipping it upside down.
All right. Now is it ready for panels? Almost. Just got to tighten these up. Tighten it up. Okay. Well, I got to drill a hole and put a bolt in it. Otherwise, it'll blow right off. Drill a hole in the... Well, the, there's nothing holding this on. Oh. The wind the, could lift it right on. The cap. The cap. Yeah. All right. The reason why it's so wobbly is because of the U-bolts in the middle. Right. And so that'll let you adjust to the angle of the sun. Right. So we just have to push it down. Okay. So. So how do you secure oh. it in place once you get your angle? Huh. I just thought of something that is, it's going to be problematic. What? That, that thing's too wide. I'm not going to be able to tip it down far enough. I can only tip it from here to here. Oh. Cut a channel out. Yeah. I can do that. I'll just lose a little, a little bit of my support, but we'll see what angle we can get to. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to use your weight to tip it? Is yes, it, right. Is it, it's not easy. It's not easy to tip. No. Okay. Well, that's good for security. I guess. Yeah. Well, that definitely looks like more than 45 degrees. We'll just have to figure out a, a way to measure it. I mean, that could be 45 degrees right there. Yeah. So, I mean, you need it. To go lower? You know, yeah. To get the sun. Yeah. But, and it'll be facing this way anyway, so it's going to be facing south. Right. So, all right, so let's go get the panels and we can... Well, I'm not going to drill the damn hole. <laughs> Jeez. I got it. Nice. I actually went faster than I was expecting. All right, so that's not going anywhere? <laughs> nope. Eh, I probably should put another one on there. Okay, so last step is put the panels on. Yes. So we're gonna go get the panels. We're gonna go get the panels. So how do we do this thing? Yeah, different clamps. There's ones for the ends and there's ones for the middle. Those are the middle ones. Mm. So these just go in here like this. So we're going to have to just kind of hold them in place. Well, for the third one, we can tilt it all the way to the other angle. Yeah. Swivel it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I like the idea of having uh, different settings on the post. Drill different holes, you know, yeah. at the bat way you can adjust the bolt. Yeah. And spin it. Okay. So I can hold one corner. Yeah. You push it up. Push. Oh. Okay. All right. So now we can flip it, right? Let's get it. See if we can get it flat. Okay. And then uh, you have to kind of give it a little wiggle. Oh, 
It's just heavy because these panels are on them. And there's no counterbalance on that end. What happened here? Why why could we not finish the job? Yeah, so I'm we're, short on the you, Unistrut. So the Unistrut is an inch short. too short yep. to put the, the third panel on. There's nothing to clamp to. Right. And it should have fit according to your calculations. Yeah, I guess. But but the way the clamps fit on the Unistrut, it, there's you can't be right to the edge. Yeah, so we, we lost a couple of inches just by not being able to butt up to the very edge yeah. and not being able to have the panels, but you know, end to end. There's like an inch gap in between each of the panels. So wasn't really expecting that, thus can't put the third panel on, but there is a solution. There's a solution. <laughs> so I, you can buy extensions, right? So, yeah. um, so I'll it, buy a two foot piece and then I'll cut a couple chunks, a few chunks to, to put up on the top. And then bolt it in. You don't have to weld it or anything. No, no, it's all just okay. bolt. So we will have the solar panels done, but just not <laughs> happening today. Yeah. What do you think about Brian's stand here? He welded it, we erected it, you know, got the panels on almost two out of three, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's swiveling. And my idea was, I like the idea that we could keep a swivel so that we might track it throughout the day. Right now he wants to put a bolt through the cap in the stem so it doesn't move, but yeah. maybe we can have that more of like a pin and have different, select different locations. locations. And then we still have to calculate our angle as far as like, what's the right angle to tilt? Cause it's possible you might have to cut a channel cause this is as far as it can tilt yeah, at the I, moment. I made that base a little too wide. So, so. it's kind of hitting the base of where uh, it attaches. So it can't right. go any, can't go any steeper than that. Just curious what your thoughts are. If you think this is a, a solar array that's rugged enough to take it up here, you know, 50 mile an hour winds, 80 mile an hour gust possibly. Although yeah. I don't know if we've ever seen that, yeah. but you never know. Uh, these right. are pretty big sails using solar panels, so. Yeah, something I thought about was putting some tether lines on them mm -hmm. and then keeping the, like all the corners. Someone had suggested secure. that in a comment yeah. is to yeah. tie down um, corners so it, you right. know, it doesn't wobble as much or there's not as much play. So that's where we're at. So yeah, I think in the next video, we'll just be able to put that third panel on. The next step is to connect it and actually get power, get those panels working, get it connected to the battery. That's a whole nother, whole nother, whole nother process. Deal. Yeah, we gotta uh, get all the electronics put inside. Yeah, a lot and, of electrical routing to do. Yep. So that's a big project coming up, but uh, definitely want to hear your feedback on the solar array and what you think of it. And we'll see you in the next one. All right.